It's as if the Titanic has had all of the water surrounding it 3,800 meters under the Atlantic drained away. This stunning 3D reconstruction is made up of 700,000 images. Deep sea mapping company Magellan and Atlantic Productions captured the images for a documentary. We have an absolute replica, bolt by bolt, of the Titanic. And we can look at it at full size, we can look at it at, you know, at smaller sizes. There are new and incredible details, such as the serial number on a propeller. This debris field, rather than just being a collection of shoes and champagne bottles and other things, you can actually identify people, people's uh, belongings that are still on the bottom of the ocean. I'm the king of the world! What most people know of the Titanic, about how a ship built to be unsinkable hit an iceberg and sank on its maiden voyage, comes from James Cameron's 1997 blockbuster. Anyone who tries to get Cameron got a lot fire. correct about what happened that get night. But the new images also get suggest the... new storylines. Well, Officer Murdoch in the Jim Cameron movie is a bad guy who doesn't seem to want to launch the last lifeboat. Well, we went down and we could look at the exact David that was holding the boat back. So in fact, he couldn't have launched it because it was jammed. To see it without the water, uh, was just breathtaking. Physician, scientist, and explorer Joe McInnes was the first Canadian to dive the wreck. You're looking through a tiny viewport, and you see this tiny section of seafloor or the Titanic, and you don't have a sense of the of the the size of everything. So today's images kind of broke that for me to to see it in a way that that I could only imagine. McInnes says as more stories about the Titanic are revealed, the more we learn about ourselves, which is why the story of the sinking continues to fascinate. How would I react if I was on the Titanic? Uh, would I be courageous? Would I be a coward? It's a provocative place and it's a provocative subject. With microbes eating away at the steel, every year the ocean swallows up more of the wreck. But now with these new images, it's as if the Titanic has been preserved for generations to study and learn from. Chris Brown, CBC News, London.